you are not what women want as a guy towards girls and women in the dating game. But don't worry, we are gonna tell you what women want. It's three essential traits, and I'm gonna to explain to you why you're missing out on those three essential traits and how to get them so you become what women want. And then as a bonus, we are gonna give you our hacks to implement these three traits immediately. So starting this weekend, you can go out and fulfill those three traits, become what women want, and start mastering your dating life. So if you're one of those guys who is constantly wondering why you're not getting matches, why you're not getting attraction, why you're not getting interest from other women. It's simply because they are looking at you and they're seeing that you are not what they're looking for and they make a snap decision that if you're not fulfilling these traits, you're immediately put into the friend zone or the not interested zone or the no potential zone. These things can be fixed, but it does need to be a combination of three things all at the same time. Now, just so you know who I am, my name's Alex, Alex Social. I'm the head coach of the Four Week Natural and since 2005, 15, I do these long immersion coaching programs where I'll work with groups of students for five weeks at a time and then I want to transform them to become what women want or more specifically we will look at what's going on with the guy and why he's not what women want in terms of his character traits and then refine these things over the course of two or three weeks and then once that guy is what women want the guys that I coach and that I teach they become someone who get instantly categorized as the attractive type of guy and it's actually really easy to do so let's go through that right now by me introducing those three traits trait number one if you want to be what women want you need to be zero hesitation in the way that you do things what it means to be confident but that has to be combined with trait number two which is it needs to be clear that the girl or woman that you're talking to has an element of a fear of loss of losing you to somebody else. You appear to be popular and other people would be attracted to you or interested in you if you were making yourself available. Combined with point number three is you need to be able to connect. Connection means knowing how to talk to somebody, how to appreciate them and how to get to know them on a personal level. It needs to be a combination of those three things. Confidence, inherent fear of loss and an ability to connect. If you have a misbalance or you don't have all of those three things together, you're not gonna fulfill that kind of golden combination that instantly has you categorized as very attractive and you become rare and valuable like 5% of guys, one in 20 who get it. And if you get it, then you're infinitely better than everybody else. First of all, let's assess. How do you measure up to these three traits? When it comes to approaching, interacting with girls and women, are you confident? Do you create fear of loss? And can you connect? You're probably getting zero out of three. And if you're getting zero out of three, what's gonna be happening is you're gonna be overlooked, right? You don't know where to start. You don't know how to affect other people. You don't know how to ask anybody out and you're not getting any kind of indications of interest. You're not getting anybody showing you that they kind of like you. And this is the story for every single guy. But the thing is, who you are as a person and what makes you attractive in the dating game as a guy going towards girls and women, it's all about your behavior and your mindset. So let's crack into finding out what's gonna make you attractive. But before we do that, let's have a look at some of the cliches. When we look at these three things, confidence, fear of loss, and connection, ability to connect, and you look at these different types of archetypes of guys, good guys, bad guys, tough guys, nice guys. Some guys are good at some things, but they're not good at other things. You break it down that way. So say for example, you start with the macho guy. The macho guy might be all confidence and bravado and aggression, but he's too tough to try to connect with the person. And because he's clearly arrogant and not aware of how he fits into society, he's not really going to be considered attracted by other people. So that guy might come across as overly confident, but he's missing the other two parts, so it's not gonna work. And then somewhere over there at the other end of the spectrum, you'd have the nice guy. And the nice guy's usually very good at trying to do his connection, trying to create rapport or generate or force rapport. And that means trying to force friendship with a lot of questions, a lot of enthusiasm, and a lot of focus on the person. But generally, they think that a lot of forceful question asking and interviewing that kind of enthusiasm, that's gonna make up for a lack of confidence and trying to keep that person's attention. But that kind of guy who's forcing rapport, forcing connection, that's like the try hard kind of guy. And he doesn't inspire a fear of loss and he's generally not a confident kind of guy. Or at least he might appear kind of confident in that moment, but he might not be really good at making it clear that other people would like him as well because he's trying too hard and too enthusiastically to connect with that one person who he's interested in. And the next kind of guy is the arrogant type of guy. This might be the kind of guy who acts confident, talks a big game, holds himself in a kind of a prideful way, 
but he never actually takes any action. Generally, the arrogant guy is the one with the lowest self-esteem who doesn't have any genuine confidence, doesn't take any action. Clearly, it, it's clear that no one else would be interested in this guy and he doesn't make any effort to connect. So generally, the arrogant type of guy, the one who's all talk and no action, they're not good at confidence or fear of loss or connection. And then the last incorrect archetype is the kind of reserved guy. The guy who is clearly popular. He might be outgoing, enthusiastic, good at sports, good at his job, maybe really good looking, really fashionable, but he deep down doesn't have the confidence or at least doesn't act with confidence towards the people that he's talking to and he's too scared to try to connect. In fact, a lot of guys who are high achievers, they fall into this kind of category. They're big babies, they're successful in life, but they don't take any action because they're too nervous and too humble, even though girls and women desperately want him to. So let's break them down one by one, confidence, fear of loss and connection, so that you know how to do it to become the kind of guy that everyone wants all of the time. So, key trait number one, confidence, all right? Now, confidence is a complicated word. Everybody wishes that they had confidence when it came to women in dating. But confidence, the way that dating coaches like myself talk about it, it's not about being empowered. It's about being indifferent. It's about being non-hesitant. You don't need to be rich or arrogant or good looking or famous or popular. You need to be non-hesitant. So if you can act with a lack of hesitation, if you can act with clarity, be upfront, be direct, be, be open about who you're interested in and who you want to start to get to know, that's all confidence needs to be. That has you fulfilling the confidence box. Let's just go half a step deeper here again. And you only need to be confident in regards to the person that you're talking to. And it's not so much about pleasing the person that you're talking to, but about you having standards in the way that you behave, how you conduct yourself socially, and the standards with how you want to approach and host people on dates. So it's more about how you do things rather than how you please other people. Confidence relative to yourself rather than how you're confident to other people. Trait number two, and this is where most people get it wrong, and that is that you have a clear element of a fear of loss. That if that girl is looking at you, she thinks, if I don't go for that guy, another girl is gonna jump on the opportunity. But it's really easy to exude this, but most people get this so wrong. The way to be a popular looking guy is to be outgoing, enthusiastic, energetic, especially fashionable, or having high standards with your fashion and your, your person ability with other people. Now, you don't need to be a crazy extrovert, but you need to be the kind of person who can take the time with everybody, appreciate everybody, talk to everybody, represent yourself well socially with the way that you dress, the way that you groom, and your politeness to a whole lot of other people. If the girl or woman that you're talking to that you're interested in, that you want to have something happen with, if she can see that you could easily and clearly talk to anybody else, and that you look the part and you dress with self-respect, she's gonna think, shit, that's a confident guy, and if I'm not gonna take my opportunity with him, somebody else could, because he's clearly outgoing and he has standards. And trait number three is the ability to connect. That is to appreciate everybody for who they are, take the time to get to know them, and realize that if you're the host and you're speaking to your guests in life and in the dating game, they're gonna be nervous, right? You might need to help them to overcome their own shyness for having their personality come out. You might be a confident, dynamic, successful person, but if you can't individually connect with the people that you're talking to, take the time, be appreciative, and understand the world through which, the world they live in, the world through their eyes, what's important to them, then there will be no connection. To be able to connect with somebody is to share yourself, who you are, what you do, and what's important to you in life and then you set a precedent for the recipient to share themselves as well. If you can get to the point where you can connect with somebody to the point that they feel appreciated and understood by you, and they feel that you think they're important because you've got to know them well enough, then you're in business, right? Then you're actually getting a bit of connection. So it's gotta be all of those three things together. Confidence, popularity, kind of fear of a loss, and an ability to connect. If those three things are working together, you're it you've got what you need to be what women want, to be the attractive type of guy. So when you put all those three things together, you can also then walk with confidence. You know that you're infinitely better than every other guy and that those people who you're interested in starting conversations with and starting connections with are already fulfilling 
the criteria that they're looking for in a new guy. So let's make this really easy. I'm gonna give you a list of the three hacks that's gonna implement these three traits to make you, as far as everyone's concerned, exactly what women want. Today's video and this entire channel is brought to you by the Alex Social Mentorship Experience. Get mentorship with me about your game, personal development, social life, dating apps, social skills, communication skills, personal feedback on a long-term, in-depth, personalized basis. I am the most experienced dating and confidence coach in the world. I've been coaching four-week natural boot camps and live programs since 2007. I've done more of this than anybody ever in history. And now you can work with me exclusively. So sign up, check it out, apply for Alex Social Mentorship and take your game to unimaginable levels where it's never been before. And let's get this part of your life handled. You want a solution, we've got a solution. Make the application and let's get into it. So three implementation bonus hacks to make confidence, fear of loss and connection work for you really quick. Hack number one, all about confidence. Confidence is not what you think, right? What women need you to be, what women want is for you to have no hesitation when you're talking to them. It's only relative to the person that you're talking with. So as far as the actual actions are concerned, going up to speak, asking for the number, asking for the date, simply keep it together, right? You don't need to be rich or good looking or successful and popular. Just relative to that person, you need to be clear and decisive. You need to play the role of no hesitation at the time when speaking to that person to appear to have confidence, right? In other areas of your life, you can be a student, you can be learning, you can be humble, but when you're taking that lead in that conversation, as long as you gather yourself together and act a little decisively, that's all it needs to be to tick that box to make that work, okay? So no hesitation is the tip there. Gather yourself, rehearse it, go and say your piece, and you're only really asking somebody to hang out. You're only proposing to hang out. That's all it needs to be. Bonus implementation hack number two. What it is to create inherent fear of loss, right? I don't know why I need to have this conversation with so many guys, but simply dress properly. Dress deliberately. Wear a button-down shirt with a collar made from cotton or linen, something fancy, right? If you can do that, you're gonna look like the kind of person that everybody is going to respect and be attracted to. That's such an easy thing to do. I don't know why I need to have this conversation, but dress properly, all right? The other thing that's really important is give everybody a chance. I mean, if you're gonna go out looking to do dating and meeting people, you need to actually be a social person. The beauty of the social world is there's so much unpredictability and variety and stimulation and variability it's all super exciting. Guys, girls, friends, family, old, young, women you're attracted to, women you're not attracted to, women who are your type, women who are not your type, people from different sexualities and ethnicities, all those kind of things. So appreciate life, and that's gonna make you an outgoing, social and popular person. You don't need to love everybody, but it's so interesting to meet everybody. And if you're the kind of person who can meet everybody, you're gonna be perceived as social. So functionally, the real hack here, the real tip, is talk to people, but don't outstay your welcome. Try to have this kind of hack where you are the one who leaves conversations before others leave the conversation before you. When you leave a conversation, it doesn't mean that it's over. If you consciously break a conversation and say, hey, let me leave you to it, you guys have fun, it's been nice chatting for a minute, I'll come back and chat to you a little bit later. So it's better that you leave a lot of conversations to create a lot of opportunities and to enjoy the variety of the social world. And then after meeting a combination of people, then you can go back to the person that you really want to talk to, having explicitly demonstrated that you like people, that you are social and outgoing, and you're creating other opportunities for yourself. You've already demonstrated that you're an outgoing person and the girl or woman that you might be interested in is gonna see that they might lose their opportunity with you if they don't take it. So that's how fear of loss works. And bonus implementation hack number three, to put them all together, confidence, fear of loss, and connection. In order to connect, the, the operative word is to appreciate somebody. And everybody has their own sense of self and everybody wants to be appreciated in different ways for what they do or what they think is important. And for you as the host of conversations or the leader of conversations, everybody is different and that's the variety of life. And as you become more confident, even more popular, more of a high value man, which is the, guy, the goal that all of you guys are going for, if you can have a conversation with somebody, understand somebody and verbally appreciate them, say, what you did there was cool, what you're achieving is amazing, that is to be respected. If you can verbally 
appreciate somebody, then you very explicitly verbally declared, I get you, I connect with you, I appreciate you, I respect you. And generally, by the time that you're getting to that point and you are being appreciative and kind of valuing where that person's coming from, that's when you're gonna really enjoy the connection as well. I'm sure that you understand things like confidence, fear of loss and connection, but they all need to be together for the girl to think, okay, this guy is the full package. And now you know how to do those three things to make them work. So hit like, that will encourage me to keep making more videos like this and answering the questions that you're looking for, putting my 17 years of dating coach experience online for you to learn. That of course leads us to a question. Of those three things, which one do you think is the hardest? Being perceived as confident, no hesitation, or creating fear of loss or exhibiting fear of loss, or making the connection. I know and I'm pretty sure in the comments below, it's gonna be to create the fear of loss. About doing your takeaways, genuinely loving life and genuinely being optimistic and open-minded towards other people. But I could be wrong. And that way, if you guys comment which one you like the most, then I'll be able to kind of make a focused video on that going forward into the future. So now you know what women want and how you can be what women want so that you can be categorized properly. And I'm going to be making more videos on this topic, not just what women want, but also what women want you to be in the dating game. However, I want you to check out this little video over here because that explains how the process goes once you are what women want from meeting all the way through to connection.